Hello and welcome to our show. Dark Army Weekly Cyber News Top 5. Let's start. Number 5. Russian MP Selesnaya incensed after son jailed in US. The son of a prominent Russian lawmaker was sentenced on Friday by a US federal court to 27 years in prison after being convicted of stealing millions of US credit card numbers and causing some $170 million in damages to businesses and individuals. This sentence is so far the longest sentence ever imposed in the United States for a hacking-related case. Tensions between Russia and the U.S. have increased after America jailed in politician's son for 27 years for cyber hacking. Roman Valeryvich Selesnaya, 32, the son of a Russian parliament member of the Nationalist Liberal Democratic Party, LDPR, Valery Selesnaya was arrested in 2014 while attempting to board a flight in the Maldives and then extradited to the United States. The lists of millions of stolen credit card numbers were then sold on various online carding websites and the dark web. Number 4. Vigilante botnet infects IoT devices before black hats can hijack them. Mirai. The botnet that threatened the internet as we knew it last year with record-setting denial-of-service attacks is facing an existential threat of its own, a competing botnet known as Hajimi has infected at least 10,000 home routers network connected cameras and other so-called Internet of Things devices. Hajimi uses a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network to issue commands and updates to infected devices. Number 3. MasterCard has launched credit cards with built-in fingerprint scanner. MasterCard has unveiled its brand new payment card that has a built-in biometric fingerprint scanner allowing customers to authorize payments with their fingerprint without requiring a PIN code or a signature. The company is already testing the new biometric payment cards combined with the onboard chips in South Africa and says it hopes to roll out the new cards to the rest of the world by the end of 2017. The company has confirmed that even if the card is configured to expect the fingerprint for authenticating a purchase but it does still have a pin as a fallback in case for some reason EMV readers fail to read fingerprint or you have yourself handed it to your child for shopping. You can save up to two fingerprints, but both would have to be yours you can not authorize someone else even from your family to use your card with their fingers. Number 2 Hackers steal payment card data from over 1,150 intercontinental hotels. Intercontinental Hotels Group is notifying its customers that credit card numbers and other sensitive information may have been stolen after it found malware on payment card systems at 1,174 franchise hotels in the United States. IHG identified malware accessing payment data from cards used at front desk systems between September 29 and December 29, 2016, but the malware was erased after the investigation got completed in March 2017. The total number of affected customers is not revealed by the company although customers can use a lookup tool IHG has posted on its website to search for hotels by city and state. IHG has already notified law enforcement of the recent data breach. Moreover on behalf of franchisees, the company has been working closely with the payment card networks and the cybersecurity firm to confirm that the malware has been removed and evaluate ways for franchisees to enhance security measures. Number 1. Leaked NSA hacking tools being used to hack thousands of vulnerable Windows PCs. Script kiddies and online criminals around the world have reportedly started exploiting NSA hacking tools leaked last weekend to compromise hundreds of thousands of vulnerable Windows computers exposed on the Internet. Microsoft quickly downplayed the security risks by releasing patches for all exploited vulnerabilities but there are still risks in the wild with unsupported systems as well as with those who haven't yet installed the patches. Multiple security researchers have performed mass internet scans over the past few days and found tens of thousands of Windows computers worldwide infected with Double Pulsar, a suspected NSA spying implant as a result of a free tool released on GitHub for anyone to use. Double Pulsar is a backdoor used to inject and run malicious code on already infected systems, and is installed using the Eternal Blue exploit that targets SMB file sharing services on Microsoft's Windows XP to Server 2008 R2. Therefore, to compromise a machine, it must be running a vulnerable version of Windows OS with an SMB service exposed to the attacker. 
Both Double Pulsar and Eternal Blue are suspected as equation group tools and are now available for any script kitty to download and use against vulnerable computers. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.